All right. Oh God, I just spilled coffee. Immediately, one second. This is a Rubik's cube. And I have no idea how to solve it. This one time when I was eight, I was spending an entire weekend trying to solve one of these. And I figured out that if you just take the colored stickers off and put them back on accordingly, then you can, you can solve it. It's not actually that hard, is what I thought. I told everyone I knew that I could solve a Rubik's Cube, and then everyone is asking me, like, why, why are the stickers, like, flaring up on the ends? And I had no answer to that question, <laughs> because I cheated, and I, I didn't want to tell anyone that. Twelve years later, I stand before you- Twelve years later, I sit unconfidently before you with a chip on my shoulder. Oh, come on, that's funny. It's like the Frito twists. I'm gonna try to solve this Rubik's Cube. On my first attempt, I'm gonna mash it all up. I'm gonna mix it up for literally a minute straight, which isn't that intense. I don't know why I made it sound like it was. But then I'm gonna try to solve it, and I don't know how long it's gonna take me. It may take me 10 minutes, it may take me 10 hours to solve this thing, but I'm not gonna look up any tutorials, and I'm being completely transparent when I tell you I have no idea how to solve this thing. It's about noon, so after I solve this, assuming I do solve it, I'm gonna look up tutorials, tips, and basically just how to solve it as fast as possible. So the same time tomorrow, after a full day of training, we're gonna compare the two times. I'm gonna do a time trial tomorrow at noon, and we'll see, hopefully there's a big improvement. I'm not very good at stuff like this. I'm not very good at anything. The only time I become good at stuff is when I dedicate my entire life to things, and I only have one day for this thing. So, in a perfect world, I become a Guinness world record book holder. But in reality, I guess my goal is just to get you to click the like button. Let's do this. How do you even open this? It feels a lot smaller than I, than I remember. So here it is, here's the Rubik's Cube. As you can see, the stickers are all on there, all intact. I don't even think this has stickers. There goes my plan. So I'm just gonna mix it up. Is that ASMR for you? I know people that can mix it up and then put it right back, right back together just as fast as they mixed it up, or faster. Okay, so this looks extremely mixed up to me. Every side has several colors, so I'm gonna try to solve this now. I'm gonna put a timer up. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm underestimating this a lot right now. <sighs> All right, here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Here we go. So what I do remember from when I was like nine trying to solve this, I think you try to get one color at a time. We have a lot of greens going on. I feel like I, I feel like I am slightly smarter than when I was eight. Boom, we almost have a, a green. Boom, we only need one more side, okay. Wait, this isn't as hard as I remember. It's only been a minute and a half, a minute and 45. Okay, so do I just start working on red now? I'm gonna give you my perspective, so hopefully you can see what I'm thinking. I mean, anyone can get one side, you know? I don't know why I let that boost my ego. You know what, screw it, I'm just gonna go for red. You're not supposed to have like one face solved and then start working on the other one. It's like a collective, effort. Screw it, I'm just gonna kind of solve each one a little bit. I'm getting way too excited about this. I think I figured it out. So now we have white, green. Oh my gosh, let's go. Boom, okay, that's progress. The goal is just to get all of the whites with the corresponding face, so I need to get white, green, white, green, white, green, white, orange, white, orange, white, orange, just like that, okay? Boom, oh my gosh, I'm onto something. I know I'm onto something. Okay, we are so close, I can smell it. It's probably just the Fritos that I opened earlier, though. Two hours and 47 minutes later, I can't help but feel like I'm in the, the home stretch. I can't help but feel that, because it, it seems like it's coming together. But I know with Rubik's Cubes, it's like, you go like this, and then, whoa! 
I've said this since 15 minutes into the challenge, but I'm almost there. Whew, I'm getting delirious. This is crazy. Okay. I feel so dumb. My eyes hurt, let alone my brain. I just don't know what else I can try at this point. I don't even wanna talk about it. <laughs> I really don't. I'm just gonna keep going. Come on, Ryan, focus. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Oh, I'm seeing stars right now. Oh. Mm. This is the dumbest thing ever. I just realized that. What am I doing? Oh my God. Oh my God. If I get to five hours, I am just going to give up and then try to learn how to do this. Oh, I need to eat something also. Oh my God. This is honestly embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. I really thought I'd be able to figure this out. This is insane. I've seen a guy do this in six seconds, and I can't even do it in six hours. It's been five, I was being dramatic. Nonetheless, oh my God. Nonetheless, this is virtually impossible. And I'm setting the cap at five hours, all right? For the rest of the night, well, first I need to go eat a meal, because I've had one too many Frito flavor twists, and I need real food. Secondly, I think I'm gonna go outside and just breathe real air because all I've been doing is breathing my own carbon dioxide that just splashes back at me when I'm breathing on this Rubik's Cube. So I don't know if that science checks out, but I'm going outside, I'm taking a break. I'll see you in a little bit. It is the next day. See this? <laughs> I solved it. Look, I spent all of last night and all of this morning trying to follow tutorials. My issue was that I thought, oh me, I'm so smart. I can solve this thing just trying to like, oh, figure it out, you know, as I go. No, you can't solve it just trying, like doing whatever. You, there's a certain way that you have to solve it. And I didn't know that. I genuinely didn't know that before I filmed this video. I didn't ask anyone for advice. I didn't ask anyone like, I'm not familiar with the Rubik's Cube. I don't know anyone who can solve this thing. So I spent five hours in this chair right here trying to do that and to no avail, which is very embarrassing. I still have acne medication on my face. I have not done much of anything other than try to solve this thing. And this is the video that I ended up following right there. I watched a couple other ones and they're talking about stuff like clockwise, R prime, left prime. I don't like that. I don't, I wanted something simple that I can learn, um, like a simple movement. And this video, was like the fourth one that I watched. I spent three hours trying to decide which video I wanted to follow because most of them just weren't working. I couldn't follow along. I don't know if I'm just bad with instructions or what, but yeah, this is the one. And as you can see, it works. I've solved this thing about eight times now in the past three hours. I haven't been nonstop. Okay, yes, I have been doing it nonstop, but I think I, I can do this without following the tutorial and I wanna do another attempt. It is exactly noon, which is the time that I filmed uh, the first attempt when I started filming it. I ended it at 5 p.m. But one day later, 24 hours, I'm going to do a time trial for this Rubik's Cube. I'm gonna mix it up, okay? And I am going to solve this as quick as I can. Now, depending on how long this takes, and I've, I've gotten pretty fast, all right? Because I've memorized the algorithms, which makes me just, those words alone makes me sound like a genius. I love it. I'm gonna tell everyone I memorized the algorithms of a Rubik's Cube. I deserve a Nobel Peace Prize. What, what, I don't know what prizes you get for being smart. Okay, so I'm gonna try to solve this as fast as I possibly can. I just mixed it up. Here's the stopwatch right now. I know I've solved it probably 10 times now. 
So I know what my personal best time is, but hopefully I'll be able to beat that on camera. If not, I'll let you know what my best time was and you'll just have to believe me. So starting in three, two, one, go. Okay. So that video I was telling you about, it gives you every movement like algorithm that you need to memorize. And I'm not gonna talk while doing this cause I just simply cannot focus. Um, orange, uh, so just enjoy the, the sounds of the Rubik's Cube, please. Off to a good start. Oh my god. Okay. God, this is terrible. I'm messing up so much. Two twenty-seven, two minutes and 27 seconds. I look so pale. This is my new personal best. That's crazy, okay? I sat in this chair for five hours straight trying to decipher this thing. That's insane to me. I feel like I have like a new talent, like a new skill that I can show people. I don't know if it's fast enough to be that cool yet, but I don't know, this is pretty awesome. I thought I was gonna have to like put this back on its stand and hang it up without it being solved because I thought it was just a lost cause. And it took me a long time to like watch the tutorials and follow along each step and trying to like understand what these mean. I don't know, I really enjoyed doing this challenge. I think it, it kind of speaks volumes that if you, like no matter what it is and no matter how valuable it is, this is not like a valuable skill in life to have, but it really got my brain thinking I feel like it really challenged me mentally, like in a good way. And I don't know, it's kind of like a cool skill to have. I've always wanted to be able to solve one of these. I honestly want to try to do this with other things in life. Like there's so many things that other people are good at. Playing the guitar, skateboarding, you know, singing, I don't know. It'd be so fun to see how much progress I can make in, a, in one day. Because if I can make as much progress on like playing guitar or singing in one day that I did on this, then it would be insane. Let me know if you guys want me to try anything, any other skills or like talents to see how good I can get in one day. I don't know. Fun little series for the summer, maybe. We'll see. I completely messed this up, but I'm gonna try to solve it again. Anyways, smash like. I'm literally begging you. That five hour sitting of me trying to solve this thing was probably the most mentally draining thing I've done. When I walked out of this room, I was delirious. Everything seemed like a puzzle. I don't know. It was very strange. Even Haley knew I was like off. It was just mentally draining. So I took like an hour break and then got back on the, the tutorial grind, which was even more draining. But once you start to really figure out and memorize the, the steps you have to take, it really is not that difficult, then it's just a matter of getting faster and faster. So if you guys want 
Go check me out on Instagram, at Trahan. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm gonna have a crazy summer over here on this channel, guys. I'm so excited. So, also check out my second channel. Much more casual videos. I talk about my pants. I play Minecraft. I do things that no one wants me to do. So, be sure to check that out if you're interested. And thank you guys so much for sitting through this absolute embarrassing video for me. Hope you guys have a great week. I will see you next time. And with that said, with a chip on my shoulder.